I really hope my landlady doesn't think I've super glued these to the wall. Welcome back everyone. Good to see you again. If you hadn't guessed it already, it's another shoe review and today is Salomon's Speed Cross 5. And yes, this is 100% red other than the mud. I ran my first trail race, the Glencoe Marathon, back in 2014. That was in a Speed Cross 3 that I bought myself. Today's shoe was sent to me by Spike PR on behalf of Salomon. I haven't been paid for this. I've not been told what to say. So please take this as my own words and let's have a better look at what's going on in this red devil. Now to me, if Salomon had an iconic shoe outside of their S-Lab Killian Fast Trailblazing division, it would be the Speedcross. It was the first shoe that I purchased from the brand. Now where does the Speedcross 5 sit within the family range? It really is a shoe that can do most things. However, it does have a set of deep aggressive lugs and these arrow shapes on the sole with the forward ones obviously being for, for grip, for moving forward, for cutting through mud and crud and all manner of stuff and the rear for traction so you're breaking traction there's also a clue with this it has a 10 millimeter drop and Salomon categorize it heel strikers now on the whole I'm not a heel striker I tend to go on my midfoot however yes we will use our heels from time to time especially on longer runs did I notice this running when I run in Salomon shoes I tend to run in Sense 6 Ultras, the Soft Grounds, the Sense Rides, those style of shoe, but it didn't impede me. It wouldn't be my first choice for a faster run. I do prefer my heel drop to be that bit lower. However, you know, I've done 70, 80 miles in this and it's been a good ride. And that's one thing it will give you is plenty of cushion, plenty of support. In terms of support, you get a fair bit. It's got a really big heel cup and you can see how the back really hugs you and there's plenty of the padding inside and you've got that energy plus cell it's designed to give you a more of a plush responsive midsole to kind of give you maximum energy return but also give you that support and cushioning and to be fair there is a fair amount in the speed cross despite having obviously quite big lugs as I said my first pair of salmons were a pair of speed cross threes and I remember being a bit off put by them running down Ben Nevis on the tourist path because the lugs were a bit softer so they would move a fair bit so when you're coming down a big rocky garden section and they're moving around it didn't inspire maximum confidence. Now I reviewed the Salomon Speedcross Pro a couple of years ago, a few years ago, a while ago and that had changed, they were harder they didn't move around as much and that's the same here so there is a bit of compliance and they have these central sips that allow the lug to basically compress more to get the lay of the land better to give you better traction what it does mean on harder pack terrain you've got a more enjoyable ride which is important because there's always roads there'll be some rock it does for me for me personally allow you to use them in much greater varied terrain. The outsole is Salomon's Contra Grip, which you see across you know, the entire range, give or take. It is a grippy sole. It isn't the grippiest, but let's counter that. It lasts longer than many others. So in terms of a product that's durable, that's gonna last you a lot of miles, you do gain that benefit from losing a small amount of grip. Up top, you have the usual speed laces, really handy for just quick adjustments uh, and precise adjustment they don't come unlocked when you have a pair of speed laces you always have this little compartment to hide them in really do get them in there it does make a world of difference when you run and it is a case of just stuff it it's, think of it like a stuff sack so it's a sleeping bag essentially stuff them in they stay away they don't loop around catch your foot and you go flying so something i haven't seen before on the top of salmon shoe is this guard so it's kind of like a dirt guard keeps out all the debris and you've still got your your tongue below it that you can see they're independent of one another and it forms a barrier above the tongue which has proven to be really useful it has kept out anything that's come across and as is visible you have your usual sensi fit 
around the top, so you've got that seamless construction that's really comfortable, that always feels like a sock. However, this time you have this extra guard, which is all one piece. So it's a great idea, hides it really well, and yes, you would normally see the, the type of the shoe branded on top. Well, that's actually it's fighting the shoe hidden down here, so it is still there. Um, you just got to hunt for it. Now to my gripe, the toe box. Toe boxes, out of a lot of different shoe parts, are one of the most personal areas. The amount of people I know that go, the toe box is too wide, it's too narrow, yada yada yada. This was a bit narrow. I remember it from Speed Cross 3. Over time I found that my feet just didn't really want to sit in them. I did find I was kind of getting pushed a little. And for me, having used many Salomon shoes over the last five years, this was a little bit too narrow and I found my little toe kind of squeezing a bit too much into the next toe and it was kind of catching a bit and I started to get a hard spot. This wasn't every run, could it be the sock combination? I don't know. I will say every run I did was wearing a pair of smart socks, so there's some thinner ones, some thicker ones. But yeah, this is the main, the main gripe for me is the toe box. For my personal preference is I would personally prefer it to be slightly wider. If you'd like to find out more about the Speedcross 5, I have a written review with lots of close-up photos in the description below. I leave you with one question and one question only. Have you run any of these races? Now I have run a lot more races than this, but have you run either the Cliff Bar 10 Peaks, the Glencoe Marathon, any of Maverick races? races? Wings for Life World Run, the London Marathon, Red Bull Steve Chase, the Sky Running World Champs, or Ring of Steel Sky Race in Scotland, and Trail Marathon Wales. Now I've done a fair number of other races. I've even got the one and only time I uh, podiums uh, down here. But where have you raced? And have you raced where I've raced? Raced. See ya.